everybody, it's me, I'm back. Uh -oh. I've been having a lot going on. Um, mentally, I've been kind of messed up. And I don't feel like talking about that right now. And so, um, I'll make another video probably later on tonight to talk about that. I got a big old pimple right there. It's right there near my smile now. Mm. I'll pop it. I don't want to though. So, but, um, yesterday, I'm down here in Louisiana right now. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all something. Y'all need to help me. Please, please help me. I'm begging. Because I don't know. I'm going to have to stop by the store when I leave. But um, yesterday, I delivered where I come from. I come out of North Carolina, going to Opelousa, Louisiana. And um, what happened? What happened was I stopped right when you come over the... Um, Mississippi River Bridge in Baton, um, Baton Rouge. Uh, you know, so you come over that bridge, the next exit is a love. Well, I took that exit, excuse me, to go up through there to get on um, 190 because <clears throat> I was going to Opelousa. So keep riding on up 10, I went up through that way. And But when I exit off, I stopped and um, I got me some um, a oyster, um, oyster po' boy. So I got that. That was the last thing I ate. I got that and uh, some vitamin water and uh, sweet tea. <clears throat> so I left. Well, no. I ate most of my sandwich sitting there. For the first half of it, I ate sitting there. And so uh, the second half of it, I ate riding. So I make it to Opelousa. I drop my load and stuff. And um, everything fine. So then, my next load was picking up over here in uh, Pineville. So I go on and leave and drive on up here, to, and I stop at the, um, it's right next to the P&G. Anybody ever been over here to this P&G, they know that the little side street, not side street, the shoulder is like a rest area. So you can pull over on the shoulder safely right there because that's considered a rest area. And so usually people going to and um, from P&G usually park there. So, um, but well, anyway, I go to sleep. I get in the bed. I said, okay, I'm finna go to sleep. I get in the bed, and, no, I had set up for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. So then I go and get in the bed, and I turn some music on. I'm like, I'm finna go to sleep. Um, so I could be pulled on into this place at, um, um, 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. more than likely. So, yeah, I woke up and my feet were itching and my hands was itching. So, I got up, then my legs started itching. I was like, I don't know what the hell going on. Y'all, then my head started itching and my arms was itching. My back, my arm, I was I was itching everywhere. I was just a stretching like I had fleas or something. I just got the itching and then I don't know if y'all can see it because I call my auntie. I like TT. I don't know what the hell going on with me. But let me tell you, I'm itching all over. All over I got the itching. And I know then I started to break out. Y'all might can see it. Let me see if I turn it this way how it looks. I don't know if y'all can see that. It got a glare in it. Cause I'm trying to show y'all a picture on the phone. If y'all can see it or not. But I started to break out. Like in like these little hives or whatever. I don't really know. And so I got so worried I started looking for the hospital. Where's the hospital at? My auntie was like, you need some Benadryl. So anyway, yeah, I hope y'all can see that. Anyway, I was itching like crazy. And then that's just on my arm. That was on this part of my arm. As you can see, it's clear now. That was on this part of my arm, that picture. But this arm, my legs, and everything just started to break out. My chest itching, and my head itching, my face went to itching. 
everything. I ain't never been like stretching like that before in my life. I didn't understand what was going on with it. So I got, I was belching a lot. And then I got the feeling like I, was, I had to give a garbage can, y'all. Because a whole bunch of saliva started coming in my mouth. And then I'm like, I'm finna throw up. I'm finna throw up. So I was looking at a video. And um, I had just looked at this video either earlier that day or the day before I had looked at a video. And the girl was telling me, well, I say telling me because I'm the one watching the video. I'm probably not the only one watching the video. Anyway, she was saying on the video when she was feeling like nauseous or nausea or whatever the word is and like she about to throw up she used alcohol pads and she smelled it so I rubbed myself down with alcohol then I thought about that video and then I started smelling I started smelling the, I was sniffing alcohol I was sniffing alcohol <laughs> I poured a little on a napkin I slept like that when I found it got it to calm down the alcohol helped a little bit to where i could just relax enough to possibly drift out to sleep because i had stripped down my birthday suit i was i mostly sleep in my t-shirt and my panties anyway yeah i just i took everything off I, oh i had socks on i took socks off I, I was in birthday suit y'all know what that mean i was in birthday suit i rubbed myself down with alcohol i got that towel back there i got the the big towel, I would pour alcohol on that. I had a smile towel. I probably don't do it over there. The smile, you can't even see the smile towel. Oh, it fell. Oh well, I had a face towel and I was rubbing my legs and my feet with the big towel, rubbing my arms and stuff with the smile towel. I done rubbed my face and everything with alcohol. And I'm smelling and sniffing it at the same time because I'm over the garbage can. I don't know what the hell going on with me. Y'all tell me what happened to me, please. I really don't know. So anyway, I woke up and I was feeling better, a lot better. And so I come on down here to pick up my load. I just backed up to the trailer. So when I get here and get back there where we drop our empty trailers at, it was a swift truck. He done got bowed down and stuff like that. So I helped him get unbowed down and all that stuff. And um told him to chain up and stuff like that. Um, that didn't really work. <clears throat> but we eventually got him um, out of there. So he was finna give up. I like, don't give up. Don't get up, give up yet. Because when I first started with Swift, I remember, this when I first started driving. I got bowed down. I had called a record come get me out. That record moved me like three inches. And I, was ready, I could drive myself the rest of the way out. Something dollars I got, I had to pay. Swift made me pay for that shit. <laughs> I guess so, cause I was the one got balled down. But uh, yeah, I told the, the shit now. And we gonna figure this out. So we figured out, we got him out there. And uh, but now, I really just come make this video tell y'all about me itching. I'm gonna stop and give me some Benadryl. I don't know my auntie because when I checked my time, my auntie was like. How long ago was it that you ate the oysters? So I was like, it was a while ago. It had to be about three, four hours since I ate the oysters. So she was like, well, no, nah, that shouldn't have did nothing. And I was like, that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking if you know I was gonna have a reaction to the oysters, maybe it would have happened right away. I don't know. Maybe it needed time to digest. I don't know. And so I just come on here and make this quick video because I hadn't made one because it's been something on my mind. Um, I talked to another YouTuber, I was mad, I was down in Laredo, I was mad because it was hot. He was talking about me, told you your feelings, yes, I am, and my feelings are mad. So I went to sleep down in Laredo, and um, I got a phone with him, then I went to sleep. Then I um, woke up by 11, 11.30 that night. I was on the 18th. And so I went up to um, the Flying J. I went to the Flying J and got me something to, I got some french fries and a um, caramel frappe. Matter of fact, one of my, hey, you you supposed to call me, but um, one of my subscribers, I saw him, well, I already know who he is. I saw him, um, at the um, Flying J. 
thank you again because he actually purchased my food for me so thank you very much very much thank you but um after i left the fly j um i don't want to tell y'all right now because i don't want to think about it i don't want to think about it but just know after i left the fly j some shit happened and i'll tell y'all about that later i don't want to talk about that right now i don't want to talk about Nope, I don't want to talk. I, I do y'all another video. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll talk to y'all later, alright? I'll talk to y'all later about all day. I don't want to talk about you.